Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a foundation first impressions for you guys. It's going to be on the Face Atelier Ultra Foundation. I have mine in the 20ml size, but there is also a 30ml size as well. I just picked up the 20ml size because, let's be real, like I own a lot of foundations. And if I can save a little bit of money and buy a smaller size, I'm definitely going to do that. Um, so yeah, this is what the packaging looks like, and it does come in a box like this. There isn't all that much information on the box. All it says is that it is cruelty free, which is amazing, to shake well. And also their little slogan thing is because looking good is the best revenge. I love that quote so much. You guys have no idea. Um, I have mine in the shade six and I've never used this foundation before. I kind of just swatched a little bit on my hand in the store because I bought mine at PM Studios just to make sure that I got the right shade. Um, but besides that, I didn't really observe too much about the foundation itself. There is a pump, so that's really good. So, yeah, it does say to shake well, so I'm going to shake it now. It doesn't sound super liquidy, though. Okay, so I'm just going to start pumping this out, I guess. Um, I do have quite normal combination skin. I normally get oily around the nose, and the rest of my face is relatively normal. I do have some redness, which I do like foundation to cover, and then for some reason I've got this, like, darkness on my nose. I think I scratched my nose in my sleep. Long story, let's not get into it. Anyway, I'm just going to pump out a little bit onto my hand. The pump seems a little bit hard to pump stuff out. Oh my goodness, what the hell? Is anything? Okay. I think this is going to be a really good colour match. Or maybe it's going to be a bit light. I don't know, we'll see. That's one full size pump there, running down my hand. The consistency is quite runny, as you can see it is dripping all the way down my hand. So what I'm going to do now is apply it to one side of my face and we'll compare it to the other side. This foundation smells like the Giorgio Armani foundation. That foundation isn't scented by any means, but it does have quite a distinctive smell. It's not a fragrant smell, but it definitely does have a scent. I didn't prime my face either. I only moisturized. Um, I didn't use any primer or anything like that. So we'll actually be able to see exactly how long this foundation will last. I feel like a little bit doesn't really go a long way, so I'm gonna get a little bit more. I'm gonna pump out another pump. So far the coverage is quite nice though. Like it's a quite a nice medium coverage. I can still see a little bit of redness here, but nothing too like in your face, like it's not really covering anything, if you get what I'm saying. Also, I match my foundation to my neck, not to my actual face tone, or else it would just look like a white face and brown neck. <laughs> this foundation is amazingly blendable, so that's good. So this is currently one layer on my face. I used about two and a half pumps and I'm quite happy with the coverage that it gave. It gave quite medium coverage, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in with another half a pump and I'm just gonna try to target it where it hasn't really covered all my redness. So a little bit here and just anywhere else that I feel like needs a little bit more coverage. And then I'll be able to also tell you guys if it's buildable or not. And another thing I just wanna really quickly tell you is the pump is really controllable. It's super buildable, I really like it. Okay, so now that's three pumps all over my face. I'm super happy with how it looks. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go finish off the rest of my makeup. It is currently 10.57 if you can see that there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I just got done doing the rest of my makeup. I did apply a little bit of loose translucent powder all over my face. Um, so just bear in mind that I did do that. And yeah, the foundation looks really, really nice on the skin at the moment. My pores definitely don't look emphasized at all. They don't actually look as big as what they normally are. So that's really nice considering I didn't use a pore cream or anything like that. And yeah, it isn't really sinking into my laugh lines at all. So far, it's just looking really, really nice. So I'm just going to go about my day and I will check back with you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so I'm back for another update. If I look weird, it's because I've taken off my fake eyelashes because they were starting to hurt my eyes. But anyway, so it is currently two minutes to five, so 4.58. Um, so this foundation's been on for a good few hours now, and I do notice that I am starting to get a little bit oily, so I will be powdering my face in a second. Um, I can notice that it is starting to sink into my pores a little bit. It's not welling up into my pores, but it's definitely defining the pores a lot more than it was before. Um, I can also notice that it is starting to go into my smile lines, if you can see that. Um, so yeah, 
that's all I can really say about it. It's not really going funny anywhere else, it's more just this central area of my face. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use my powder brush that has a little bit of powder on it and I'm just going to pat at my nose just to eliminate any of the excess shine. Okay, that's looking so much better. Um, yeah, like my contour and my highlight, they're not fading. It's not really going patchy anywhere. So yeah, so far I am impressed. I will check back with you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, so I'm back. It is currently 9.22 and... Yeah, I'm back for my final update of the evening. I must say that my T-zone is getting very, very oily. Foundation has started to sink into my laugh lines, or accentuate my laugh lines, I should say. And just from first glance, I can see that the foundation is starting to well up in my pores. Overall, I do like how the foundation has worn across my face, excluding the oils, for the fact that it hasn't worn away, and it definitely hasn't worn away patchy. So that's really, really good. It hasn't felt heavy on the skin throughout the day, which is amazing. And overall, I'm actually quite impressed with how it looks still at the 12 hour or 11, 12 hour mark. Yes, I do need a powder on my nose a little bit, like a little powder and it is basically as good as new. So it's not like, like it hasn't worn off my nose. The foundation hasn't broken down anywhere. It's more just, it started to well up in my pores and even then it hasn't really welled up as badly as some other foundations can do. Overall, I'm relatively impressed. Would I recommend it to you guys? It really would depend. Always with higher end or more expensive foundations, I always say go out and get a sample or at least get it put on your face and see how you like it and go out in the world and see how you like it on your skin and blah, blah, blah. This is the exact same. This is one that I'll definitely say you should put time and consideration into. I do like how they do have the 30ml and the 20ml option. That's really, really nice. I would definitely say if you're looking for a new medium buildable coverage foundation, then I would say definitely put this one into consideration. Yeah, I don't really feel like there's anything else for me to say. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It would help me out so much. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.